Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we've got something kind of interesting going on. We're going to make a 1000mm caliber gun on a tank. Now, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go, um, but obviously that is a caliber that is like a meter wide. That is bigger than like anything else in the world ever. So it's kind of crazy. But anyway, let's jump into a scenario, see if we can build something that actually works, and do it. Okay, so just before we begin, uh, if you guys do want to check out something that was actually really cool that I spent quite a lot of time on, check this thing out right here. This is my modern MBT2. Uh, I made it Swedish, and it's actually pretty cool. If you want to check out the build video, it was uploaded just before this one. Anyway, let's get on with building something absolutely ginormous and really weird. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to do is uh, actually get ourselves a gun uh, that is 1,000 meters, meters? <laughs> Not 1,000 meters big, uh, but we need the big caliber. So let's go ahead and load up and see if we've got one. So far, we have a 400 millimeter, a 500 millimeter, a 600 millimeter, a 700 millimeter, a 320 millimeter, and a 2,500 millimeter. Now, obviously, the 2,500 is way too big. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with 1,000 and see what that looks like. Let's do it. Alright, so obviously this is gonna look super duper wrong, but let's go ahead and load it up and see what it looks like. Bosh! There we- okay, right. <laughs> okay, so, so far it looks very, very odd, but that's okay. We're gonna make it 6 meters long and... I mean, obviously that is very, very odd. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even want to taper down from there, because it doesn't- it doesn't really do that. Uh, if we go with 100 here, then it will taper down slightly, but that is very strange. Maybe we actually build this like the KV-2, but obviously very different to the KV-2. Um, but actually, maybe that's a good idea. Let's do it, actually. Okay, so this thing is going to have to be quite long. Uh, I'm not going to lie. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, awesome. Uh, we're going to go to mobility, go to fenders, and get rid of those. All right, so tracks. They're going to be uh, quite a lot longer than this. We're going to go with 8 meters. Yes! We're going to go ahead and lift this guy up, we're going to lift these guys up, and uh, we're going to leave it somewhat like that. Yes. Um, the idler wheel is going to be bigger, because uh, I think that's quite a nice idea. There we go. And we're going to leave that somewhat flat. Yes. Uh, the sprocket is actually going to be a lot bigger too. Um, not too, too much bigger, but yeah, just like this. And then we're going to make the road wheels um, diameter also bigger. Yes. Uh, and actually quite a lot bigger too, so we're going to go with this. That is very strange, but I quite like it. Um, we're going to go with this guy. Uh, road wheels are also going to look like so. And the return rollers also going to look the same way too, because they can. The next thing, we're going to go with these guys. Okay, awesome. We're going to make them quite thick. Oh, not that thick. Alright, we're going to go with that. That's pretty insane. Already, we're going to make this 0.3. They're pretty big. They are very big. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and separate them out quite a lot too. There you go. This might be strange, but it's what we need to do. Alright, so now that we've done this, let's go ahead and start working on this guy. I did kind of want to make the tracks a little bit thicker uh, in terms of a little bit fatter, but honestly, I think what we've got is okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stretch this guy out forwards. Actually, maybe I just need to extend it forwards. We bring it forwards like so, and we uh, squidge it together. There we go. I mean, that's pretty odd. But I think it's alright. Yeah. Uh, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and extend this guy upwards. And we'll grab this face and we'll push it back. Here we go. Whack that bit backwards like so. Quite far. That's good. And then we're going to go to faces. Lift this up. And we're going to angle these guys backwards a little bit too. And that is where the driver will sit. Okay. Excellent. We're then going to go down here and stretch this down. Okay. I don't mind it having like a flat front because honestly this thing is a uh, a monster. But that's 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 neither here nor there. It's going to be okay. So we whack that on there. We whack this on here. Uh, before anything gets too crazy, let's have a little look at it. Okay. Yes. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, right, okay. I'm actually going to go and angle this bit backwards just a little bit. Uh, and that is very pointy. I don't know if I like it being this pointy actually. I'm unsure. I'm unsure. But yeah, let's go ahead and bring this... Actually, bring that bit forwards, but actually send it all backwards. There we go. A little bit odd, but sure. We're then going to extend this guy down, just like so. I'm going to bring this guy up into a nice little place, just like so. And we're going to extend this guy downwards and slightly backwards like this. Yeah. I think that looks way better, actually. 
Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is actually extend this guy. This is where things are going to get very strange looking. Uh, because of the way that I actually want to build this, um, they are going to look odd. But um, that's what I want to do, so there you go. Anyway, points. Go ahead and bring this so that it's flat. Okay, we're going to push this bit backwards so that this bit is also flat. That might be weird. In fact, that is very odd, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to be extending this guy forwards. And also shrinking it at the same time to hopefully make it look really cool. But I don't know how well that's going to go. <laughs> I really, really do not know how well this is going to go. Obviously, it's also angling down every bit we go. Um, but that's okay. So it's it's angling down slightly, but that's okay. Yeah. I mean, I've never really built a hole like this, so uh, why not, I suppose? There you go. Make it rounded. Let's have a little look see what that looks like. Strange. Strange is not not always bad. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do then is actually add... Oh, I don't know how I want to do this, actually. So, let's go to compartments. Uh, we are going to go ahead and bring these guys upward. Okay, yeah, I guess. Okay, extend these guys over the sides just like this. And that is fine. We're then going to select all of it, move it upward slightly. Maybe even slightly more. There we go. Okay. And this is going to be a heavy boy, but that's okay. Good. Yes. Uh, right, next thing, we're going to grab this guy and this guy, and we're going to send those guys backwards like so. Good. Uh, we're going to grab this guy and this guy, and we're going to move those forwards like this. And the gun is going to go on top of this. Alright. This is what probably makes it quite strange, but we're going to do it. Uh, so, grab this guy at the back as well. Send this in. And hopefully that doesn't look too bad. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Alright, grab this guy, delete it. Grab this guy, delete it. Attach this, this, and this together. And this, this, and this. Bush. Oh, that's weird. Okay, this guy, this guy, and this guy, Phil. This guy, this guy, and this guy, Phil. Okay, that is the wrong way around. That is the wrong way around. Not that guy, but that guy, Phil. Okay, this is not really attaching the other the way that I wanted it to, but... I mean, it's worked. Alright, do this. Okay. Right. I think I'm happy with that. That's fine. Okay, so this gives us enough room to actually work on things. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a fender. We'll go, go ahead and attach it again. Uh, that might be a weird thing to do, but at the same time, I think it's going to be okay. So bring this up to about there. Go ahead and separate it a lot as well. And then the width of it is also going to come out too, because it should. And then it's going to go forwards again, because it should. And that's okay. This bit is not okay though, so... Section length is going to have to be way bigger. There. Okay. Very strange. Very, very strange indeedy. But we're going to go with it. What if I use this, actually? That doesn't look too bad. Um, and then maybe if the front was actually like this. Angle it so that it actually fits. And then fit it so that it fits. I don't know whether I like it, but... Ooh. Actually, I like it stretched more than I like it not stretched. So let's do that. There we go. Okay, excellent. So that's going to go on there. So far, so weird. This thing looks very ugly. It's about to start looking very, very, very ugly though, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Anywho, what we're going to do now is actually add uh, a bunch of stuff to the hole to make it look nice, and then we'll add the gun to a turret on the top. That is going to be kind of strange to do, but we'll see what happens. So attach this right here. We're going to go ahead and make it slightly bigger, just like so. And we're going to add viewports all around it. I honestly think this is going to make it look way better. So that's why I'm doing it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Put those guys in there. Bring them out forwards. There we go. Awesome. Let's go ahead and move them backwards a little bit. And we'll put these guys in too. There you go. All right. That looks a little bit strange, but we can go with it. We're then maybe actually going to add some on top as well. Just in case you need to use them. I don't know. Maybe your glass breaks in the first one. They're redundancies. All right. It looks weird. But that's okay. Uh, as for a commander's cupola, I actually wouldn't mind it going just behind. So we're going to go ahead and sink this in like so. That might be very weird, but we're going to go with it. Nice. Uh, and that's it. Good. Stowages. I'm going to add these guys to the front right here. Because they do actually somewhat fit. Alright, there we go. Move them backwards. Move them upwards. And we'll have them on the front. Yes, we will. Nice. Okay, backwards even further. Upwards a little bit. And we can go with that. I'm also going to go ahead and squidge these just a little bit. Move them over just a little bit too. And 
That's it. That's all you really need to do. Excellent. Oh, this is good, guys. This is good. Uh, let's go ahead and attach some of these. I'm going to put them there, but I'm actually going to stretch them too. So do this. There you go. Excellent. And we're going to go ahead and put this guy in the middle too. Uh, just in case we need it. It's not something that we genu genuinely need, but we can have it. We can have it. There we go. All right, nice. What is everybody thinking so far? I, I think I like the way this looks um, at the minute. All right, we're going to go ahead and attach those guys to there as well. It's not going to be riveted or anything like that, so we don't have to worry. Um, but yeah, that's all in, and that's all done, actually. We don't need anything else doing there. As for the rear, this is where things get a little bit strange, because I don't know what to do with it. I think I'm going to extend it out just the way that it is. Send it backwards just again the way that it is. And then I might actually squidge it. Um, which might end up looking very strange. But at the same time, I feel like it fits. I, I definitely feel like it fits. All right, we're happy. We are happy with the way that it is. Okay, so mobility. Uh, engine. That is the next thing we're going to do. We're going to go to vents. And we're going to attach uh, a bunch of little tiny vents together on the back. And hopefully this will look good. So even smaller than that. Attach those guys together right there. Go slightly sideways of it. There, okay, epic. Turn it around. Go and attach more of them to... Actually, we lift them up slightly and put them there. Mm, perfect, yes, okay. Right, good. Um, that's actually how I wanted it. Excellent. Because now what I want to do is go to structural. Grab one of these. Uh, essentially paste it right there. Squidge it so that it fits in between. Make it taller. And we're going to run that down the center. So... If I can attach them together, actually, if we put them there, and we do this. There you go. Nice. Very nice. Okay, we're also going to put those above it. Uh, again, because they do actually fit. So that works. And I should probably put them below it too, but I don't know if I want to. I don't know. I think that looks cool, actually. Let's keep it. Oh, you know what? Should we just box the entire thing in? Uh, I mean, we can do it, so maybe we should. Maybe we actually should box the entire thing. No, 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 not that. This. All right, there we go. And then may maybe make it a little bit taller than the rest of them or a little bit shorter than the rest of them. There you go. All right, yeah. Cool. All right, so the next thing then, we're going to go ahead and attach this guy to the back like so. There we go. Uh, we're also actually going to use... Where are they? Where are they? These guys. Uh, I know they're not used for this, but they are going to act as little supports um, for when we shoot. Hopefully. Um... Hopefully they won't stop us at any other point. They probably will, though. But what I want to do with them is... I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're going to go ahead and push them into there like that. Move them across a little bit. Move them down. So that when we shoot, if we ever get into a position where we do roll backwards, uh, those guys will catch us. That's, that's what they're there for. Obviously, that's not what they're actually for, but there you go. All right, cool. We're also going to add a ladder to hopefully be able to climb all the way up to the top of this. Is there a way of actually, like... Is there a setting that these guys have where we can just... I don't know, like, put more of them? Because I would love to be able to do this easier. Because at the minute, this is a pain in the butt. Especially to get, like, right. Or at least somewhat right. It's really tricky. It's really tricky, but... Uh, there you go. Okay, we got some ladders so we can climb up the butt. Excellent. We're also going to go and attach these guys sideways so that we can grab onto it if we need to. Bosh and bosh. Yes. All right, nice. So you can climb up onto the back of it. We haven't got to the main point in the video yet. We haven't even added the gun. All right. Okay, so we're going to go and add some tools uh, right there. We're going to go to the other side and add some tools right here too. Excellent. That is, that is looking all right. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go to the front and we're going to add something like this. We're going to make it quite small, but put it on anyway. And we're going to stretch it to make it bigger. Here we go. Mm -hmm. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we're also going to actually squidge it so it's not too big. That's fine as well. Excellent. I don't think we need much more on this. I feel like we need to go straight in with the... Uh... Oh, this needs to be bigger, actually. So go to mobility, go to fenders. Width of it, we're going to make bigger. But we're going to make the separation smaller. So that it actually fits with the vehicle. Yes. I don't know whether I'm going to do side skirts either. I might. But anywho, I think it's time for a turret. So, go to compartments. Go to freeform turrets. Actually, is there one that I have? Let's go and attach this to here. Alright, let's see. 
And loads. Do I have the F... What is it called? The F4005? The F4005 turret. I've built one, so I might actually steal that. Let's check. All right, I don't know how this is going to go, but let's go ahead and select it and load it up. Uh, da, 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 4000 oh, wow. Okay, it actually looks tiny on this. Uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that is very, very ridiculous. All right, compartments. Uh, da, 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 da. Firepower, actually? Get rid of this. Get rid of this, and we'll leave everything else on there for right now. But what I'm going to do is select all. Okay, I don't know whether this is going to work. I actually don't know what this is going to do. Uh, but what I want to do is extend it like this. Make it wider like that. Extend it a lot more. Bring it backwards to there. And I think that might be able to spot a 1,000 millimeter cannon. Maybe. I mean, there's only one way to find out. So let's go ahead and do it. Firepower? Yes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Mantlets? Let's go with this guy, just because we can. Strap it onto there. There we go. Uh, load up. 1,000 millimeter. Oh my goodness. It even looks crazy on this. That's ridiculous, but okay. Recess it into there. Okay, but then does that need to make it... Do we need to make it bigger? That's ridiculous. If we have to make this longer just because of that, that's silly. Uh, uh, like, that's extremely silly. Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> I, I'm really, really, really confused. Because I feel like this shouldn't be happening the way that it is. Alright, go over 15. Because if I recess the gun, it doesn't really work. I feel like it's way too long anyway. I feel like this shouldn't be anywhere near as long. But what if it was just one of these? What if it was just like a mortar cannon? That would be insane, actually. Let's go 100 right there. 100 right here. There we go. And we'll have it just as a mortar cannon. That is wacky. That is extremely wacky. Uh, okay, I don't want to do that. I want to grab the gun itself. And move it down. There. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like that is extremely weird. What happens if I add one of these to the end? Wow! Holy moly! That's big. Yikes. Okay. It looks like the tank is actually tiny, but it's not. It's huge. Okay. Um... What do I do in this situation? I can't really make it any smaller. So it's probably going to have to stay as it is. However, I have a plan. Okay, select all of this. I didn't make it any taller, so let's do that. There we go. Stretch it out wider so it actually fits to the edges. And then we might be able to move it into position. Which is a lot higher. Uh, like this. There you go. Alright, that might be better. That might be way better. Alright, firepower. Go to this guy. And we're going to recess it. Just that little bit. There you go. I, I swear this wants it to be like, I don't know, a million meters long, and I don't know why. It does. It genuinely does. I'm not doing that. I am, I'm not doing that. We're going to make it more like two meters there. And then we're going to make it like three meters here, which, which is still huge. Um, but that one's going to recoil. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we're going to go with it. 1,000 millimeter shells are going to come out of this. That's insane. Also, I think it goes without saying, we're going to ignore the uh, the space limitations on this because the cannon itself takes up so much room. It is ridiculous. Anywho, let's go to this. Uh, grab ourselves one round if it fits in there. I don't know whether it'll fit in the turret. It doesn't fit in the turret. We, we can't fit a single round in the turret. It is only going to fire one round, so that's okay. But, like, yeah, we can only fit one. <laughs> that's insane. Okay, right. We can probably fire it if everybody's ready. Three, two, well, actually, we're missing a gunner's sight. We need one of those. Uh, cannon? Yes, gunner's sights. Yes. We need to be able to aim it, obviously. Whack that there. Make it super duper long. And then it'll somewhat fit within itself. There you go. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> it breaks its own fenders off. Uh oh. Alright, so we're actually going to go ahead and keep it like that. Clearly there are issues with it actually raising up, but that's okay. Basket space, we'll go ahead and increase it, even though it's not going to scratch this. It is 82 versus 18. Clearly we don't have enough room for this, um, but that's okay. Right, so we got one round in there already. Uh, the engine is going to have to be increased. We currently weigh 
359 tons. So the suspension's probably going to have to be made better. Uh, we're going to lower the amount of fuel we have. There's no point in that. There you go. And yeah, engine is just going to be as big as we can make it. There you go. As big as we can go. Right, move. Suspension needs changing first. Holy moly. Okay, dampener, massive. Uh, length, tiny, diameter, huge. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we need to put constraints on the gun so that it can't actually just aim upwards. Clearly, that would be bad. Uh, but where can I do that, actually? Mount? No, where do I... Where do I do the constraints? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Probably the mount. Constraints, there you go. Min-max is 0-0. Zero, zero. So you can't actually aim the gun up or down. You have to aim the tank. That's silly. <laughs> That's very silly. But I think we can do it. Maybe. Alright, so what I want to do then, before we actually try and use this on anything, we're going to go ahead and add some logs, obviously. Log gang. Whatever. There you go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and attach... I, I want to attach these, but I don't know where to attach these. Because uh, they'll just go in the thing. Uh, I'm going to attach some of these up here. There you go. I need a commander's coupler because there isn't one on the roof. I mean, there is one on the tank, though. But we're going to go ahead and put that there. Make it bigger. Make it bigger and squidge it a lot. There you go. So those are there. We're going to move these guys out of the way. Um, to there and also to there. There we go. And that's it. That is silly. <laughs> that is so, so silly. But I love it. Crew hatches. We're going to go ahead and add a huge one to the back of this. When I say huge, I mean it. Absolutely massive. If we need to load another round, obviously we'll have to do it through there. Uh, that's it. That, that's all I'm adding. I'm not doing anything else to, to add to it. I could, if I wanted to, add some side fenders. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think we need them. Um, so there you go. Last thing then, livery. I feel, I feel like it needs one. I just don't know what it would be. I feel like it would be a wonder weapon. I feel... I honestly feel like this thing would be a wonder weapon, so maybe we do make it uh, that kind of that kind of way, I guess. Condition lower, grime a little bit, hue. I mean, we can make it purple. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about it. Scale? Tiny. There you go. All right. Obviously, we get the Swiss thing on here. We don't necessarily need that. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of this, and we will replace it with. Something else. I mean, I don't know what else we'd replace it with, but I guess German. Here we go. It's got a British turret on it. It's got a huge weapon on it. It's on a hull that is very strange. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I love it, though. All right, so uh, what else can we actually do here? Let's go ahead and save this as 1,000 millimeter cannon. There you go. And uh, it weighs far too much to actually put up against a King Tiger. But we can put it up against some stuff. We can do this. All right. I feel like I need to make it be able to lift up. Like, because it needs to arc its rounds, right? So maximum, let's say seven, but that will put it at seven. You know what I mean? Like, it will actually put it at seven. So let's do five. Go. Like, it automatically starts aiming up then. I don't know. That's interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. Alright, so I'm also going to go ahead and just select all of these guys and uh, make them 200ml of armor. Uh, there you go. We're going to do the side of these as well, all the way around, including those guys. And including probably actually the top of this too. Oh, there's a lot that needs modifying. There you go, 200ml of armor. This guy already has 200ml of armor, so that's it. That's what we're going to go in with. Um, it might be ridiculous. It might not be ridiculous. Who knows? Alright, there we go. 70, 80, 90 mil of armor on the side. We currently weigh 380 tons. That's quite a lot. <laughs> that That is quite a lot. Anywho, let's go ahead and put it into a custom battle and see how it does. I, I really don't know how this is going to go. 1,000. There you go. Versus a Tiger 2. It is my Tiger 2, so, I mean, yeah. Let's go. All right, charge the enemy. We need to uh, try and figure out where they are to begin with. And then see if we can actually even shoot them. Because uh, I feel like aiming this is going to be a difficult thing to do. It doesn't look very um, family friendly either, does it? Not really. <laughs> the family friendliness of this tank is, is not a thing. 
It is not a thing. I kind of feel like using this hole again, by the way. Maybe even the turret too. And then we can add a different gun. But um, this one as it stands, the gun is... Uh, I don't know. It's not it, is it? It is not it. Uh, I'm sorry to say, guys, but the fenders have fallen off because I rammed the railway tracks. And uh, apparently it didn't like that. Also, I don't know where the enemy is. I feel... Oh, is that them in the trees? That's them in the trees. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to aim properly here. I, I need to put myself on a hill so that we can aim down. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. Alright. Keep driving forwards. It killed me. It shot me straight down the barrel. Okay, yes. We need to modify this. I'm going to have it just fire straight. Otherwise, otherwise it's just going to be aiming up too much, and that's that's crazy. So, firepower. Yes. Minimum max. Zero, zero. Yes. Save. Okay. Let's do this. This time, we have a chance. Custom battles. Get rid of that one. Spawn in a new one, just in case it's uh, using the old version. Uh, railway? I mean, we could go on a different one. Tiger? Defense? Yeah, I don't... I don't know. It doesn't matter which one, actually. Um, probably railway, though. Yeah, sure. Go. All my bits just fell off. Sorry, guys. The fenders are gone again. Unfortunately, the fenders just, just aren't it for this. Uh, we're not allowed them, unfortunately. But that's okay. Anywho, let's go ahead and drive in there. See if we can actually find the enemy this time. And again, try and blow them up. Okie dokie. The enemy is over there to our left. Unfortunately, uh... I'm actually going to have to drive directly towards them because my side doesn't have that much armor. So there you go. Uh, I also have one shot. One chance, one opportunity. Would you take it? All right, hang on. Uh, see, the problem is he can aim his... Oh, they've killed my driver. All right, come drive towards me, please. And sit in front of me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. My only chance now is that he actually drives over here, but I don't see that happening. Uh, I do kind of see that happening. He needs to drive in front of me, though, because I can't turn. Oh my, there's no way this is happening. There is no way this is happening. Three. Two. One. <laughs> it works! Guys! Our tank, it works! Excellent! I mean, it's... It is the dumbest design because I can't actually lift the gun. If you could lift the gun, I guess it would work a little bit, but not really. Anyway, um, if you guys enjoy the videos like this one where we build cursed, weird, massive guns, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll try and build another one. But anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.